Donald Trump insists he won't meet Iran's leaders with no conditions. Days after Mike Pompeo said the president would see Hassan Rouhani with no preconditions, President Donald Trump tweeted that he won't meet with Iranian leaders with no conditions, saying fake news was reporting he was his tweet contradicted an earlier statement made by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo indicating the president was willing to have an unconditional meeting. White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway said he did not rule out the possibility of meeting. Conway told Fox News Sunday that Trump would consider following up on his suggestion of a meeting at an upcoming UN General Assembly session. She added that the conditions must always be right for this president to make a deal or take a meeting by Ralph R. Ortega for DailyMail.com published 6.06 British Summer Time, the 16th of September 2019, updated 7.03 British Summer Time, the 16th of September 2019. President Donald Trump fired off a tweet to deny reports he was willing to participate in a meeting with Iranian leaders with no conditions in place, contradicting previous statements from top White House officials. The tweet was in glaring opposition to statements made by U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo during a press conference with reporters Tuesday, where he said the president was open to an unconditional meeting. The fake news is saying that I am willing to meet with Iran, no conditions. That is an incorrect statement. As usual, the president tweeted just after 7 p.m. Sunday. President Trump in a tweet above said, fake news, was inaccurately reporting he was willing to have an unconditional meeting with Iran's leadership. White House counselor Kellyanne Conway said Trump left may still meet his Iranian counterpart Hassan Rouhani, right, despite the U.S. accusing Iran of masterminding drone attacks on Saudi Arabian oil facilities. White House counselor Kellyanne Conway earlier in the day was in line with the president's plan. Conway said Trump may still meet his Iranian counterpart Hassan Rouhani, despite the U.S. accusing Iran of masterminding drone attacks on Saudi Arabian oil facilities. The possible meeting was mentioned by Conway in a television interview broadcast as Saudi Arabia raced to restart operations at oil plants hit by drone attacks a day earlier that slashed its production. Tehran-backed Houthi rebels in neighboring Yemen claimed Saturday's strikes on two plants owned by state giant Aramco, but U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo blamed Iran, saying there was no evidence the unprecedented attack on the world's energy supply was launched from Yemen. Conway told Fox News Sunday that Trump would consider following up on his suggestion of a meeting at the upcoming UN General Assembly session in New York, adding that the conditions must always be right for this president to make a deal or take a meeting. Arch foes Tehran and Washington have been at loggerheads since May last year when Trump withdrew from a 2015 nuclear deal and began reimposing punitive measures. Iran responded by scaling back its commitments to the Multinational Accord, which gave it the promise of sanctions relief in return for curbs on its nuclear program. Analysts see hope for more compromise following the exit of Trump's hardline national security adviser John Bolton, the architect of a maximum pressure strategy to bring Iran into line. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo at a press conference on Tuesday above said Trump was willing to meet with Rouhani with no preconditions the same day the president asked Bolton to hand in his resignation. Conway above told Fox News Sunday that Trump would consider following up on his suggestion of a meeting at the upcoming U.N. General Assembly session in New York, adding that the conditions must always be right for this president to make a deal or take a meeting. In fact, Pompeo at a press conference on Tuesday said Trump was willing to meet with Rouhani with no preconditions the same day the president asked Bolton to hand in his resignation. Trump tweeted later that he disagreed strongly with many of Bolton's suggestions, as did others in the administration. Pompeo, joined at the press conference by Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, announced new sanctions against Iran, as well as Hamas, Al-Qaeda and Hezbollah. Saturday's explosions set off fires that engulfed the world's largest oil processing facility in Abqaiq, as well as plants in nearby Karais, which hosts a massive oil field. 
Conway told Fox that Trump's trade war with China, which has increased uncertainty and undermined the global economy, proved the benefits of having a businessman in the White House who was a patient deal maker. He also knows that you don't sit down and meet with people unless you have all these other accoutrements around the relationship, Conway said, like the maximum pressure campaign, like pulling out of the Iranian nuclear deal, like the Secretary of Treasury and Secretary of State just days ago from the White House announcing new sanctions. Let's block ads. Why?